GC contenders, stage hunters, young guns, and sprinters. Here are 10 riders that we think will shape and define the 72nd Vuelta España. First up, a couple of young guns, and Mark Soler of Mobistar. Now, with the imminent retirement of Alberto Contador and an injured Alejandro Valverde well into the autumn of his career, Spanish hopes of Grand Tour success in the future rest on the shoulders of the 23-year-old winner of the 2015 edition of the Tour L'Avenir. Now, he's a solid all-rounder whose progress has really accelerated in 2017, with a seventh place overall in the Tour of Switzerland and a third place overall in the Tour of the Basque Country, real indicators of this rider's talent. And he could well be the protected GC rider for Mobistar at this year's Vuelta. The former under-23 Spanish road race champion is a climber of really fantastic potential. So much so, in fact, that he's been snapped up by Movistar for the next two seasons, following a really fine victory on the Queen stage of the Tour of Croatia, where he bested none other than Vincenzo Nibali en route to a fine second place overall. Add to the mix as well, really consistent placings in some of Spain's hillier stage races, the Vuelta a Burgos and the Vuelta Castilla a Leon, and you can see why he is really a hot property. And without a shadow of a doubt, he's going to be Cajar Aral's best hope of a stage win in their home tour. Now for a few stage hunters forward slash comeback men. Last year's Tour of Switzerland winner has only actually raced 19 days so far this year after breaking his tibia in November 2016. So he will actually be one of the freshest riders in the field. Now despite that nasty injury setback, he's in very, very good form indeed. He was third overall in the Tour of Austria, picked up a stage there as well, and also won a stage at the Tour of Burgos, which really points him being an important component part in the armory of Astana as they look to deliver Fabio Aru to another Vuelta victory. And if Aru falters, Superman, as he's known, could be given his chance to shine. Another rider on the comeback trail whose season has been blighted by injury is Esteban Chavez of Colombia. Now his progression back to form has been a steady and measured one, with his last two races being the Dauphiné and the Tour de France. Now since then, he's been honing his form ahead of a race in which he was third overall in in 2016, and of course won two stages in back in 2015. Now with no defined leader as yet, the prospect of Oric Scott lighten up the Vuelta with a triple header of Chavez and the Yates twins is an absolutely thrilling one. This list does seem to be filled with riders on the comeback trail, but that is the wonderful thing about the Vuelta. It's a kind of last chance cycling saloon for riders to shine. Now, one rider who would definitely look to shine at this year's Vuelta is Julian Alaphilippe, who was ruled out of this year's Tour de France by a knee injury that he picked up in the Tour of the Basque Country way back in April. Now, the versatile 25-year-old does look to be in good form at the moment, uh, as shown by two third places on stage of the Tour of Burgos, a very hilly race in Spain. Now, expect him to go on the offensive in the hunt for stage wins at this year's Vuelta, whilst also assisting Bob Youngles, who will be more focused on the overall. Now, with slim pickings on offer at this year's Vuelta Espana, it's no real surprise there's a real lack of sprinters in the field. But one rider, without a shadow of a doubt, has the capacity to take one of the few stages on offer for the fast men is Sasha Modolo of Italy. Now, as a former winner of two stages in bunch kicks at the Giro d'Italia, and more recently won a big bunch sprint at the Tour of Poland, indicating that he definitely has the condition to deliver. The 2015 winner of both Paris-Roubaix and Milan San Remo has had a very challenging time getting back to the same level he was at prior to that awful training accident back in 2016. Yet the Vuelta is a place where Degenkolb has really shone in the past and he's amassed an amazing 10 stage wins. Now with his last win being back in Abu Dhabi in February, his main focus will be to get a morale boosting stage win at this year's Vuelta. And he has trusted lead that man, Cone de Court, to assist him. Whatever the outcome of this year's race, one thing is for certain. Alberto Contador will get a rapturous reception virtually every kilometer of the way. Now, he's a three times winner of the Walter and has decided to end his career at his home tour, close to the fans that adore him. And fittingly, the race finishes in Madrid, close to the place or the town of Pinto where he was born. Expect explosive long range attacks against the grain tactics, panache, and even perhaps a stage win. Now, El Pistolero will definitely want to end his career on a high after an agonizing seven second places this year. And a GC podium? Well, that certainly isn't out of the question because the punchy shorter stages definitely suit his style of late.
It's been a strange season so far for the Sicilian winner of all three Grand Tours, as so far this year, he's only actually won two races, the overall at the Tour of Croatia and the stage of the Giro d'Italia, in which he was also third overall. Now, many may see that as actually underperforming, which may be true, but right off the shark of Messina at your peril, as he has an uncanny ability to bounce back when least expected. Take the penultimate stage of last year's Giro d'Italia, for example. This is the first time that the four times Tour de France winner has openly stated that he's going for the Tour de France and the Vuelta Espana double. Now, despite the fact that his win in this year's Tour de France wasn't anywhere near as dominant that it has been in the past, you could actually speculate that the reason for that was because he wanted to be far fresher for the Vuelta, in which he's actually faded in the final week, quite often in the past. Add to that that he has, without a shadow of a doubt, the strongest team in the race, meaning is going to be very, very hard to beat. Of course, there's always going to be riders that we miss when we do a top 10. So another few notable mentions in relation to the GC include Fabio Aru, Roman Barde, who's actually riding his first ever Vuelta Espana, Steven Kreisweig, uh, Ilna Zakarin, to name but a few. And Lloydy, in fact, is on the ground for us at the Vuelta Espana. So let us know what kind of content you'd like him to do in the comments section down below. Now, if you haven't already subscribed to GCN, you know what to do. Click on the globe, it's absolutely free, and that way you won't miss another video. Now, for Lloydie's team time trial preview of the Walter, click just down here. And for our preview show, click just up here. And don't forget to like and share.